Hola! Y esto es Dos Más en Casa. Guys, welcome to the video. Thank you so much for purchasing a taco meal kit. And today we're going to be making our pork carnitas tacos. What you're going to need for this recipe is some tongs, a spoon, a microwave, optional, a saucepan and a frying pan. Brilliant. And we'll start with the ingredients inside our meal kit. So open this bad boy up. Brilliant. So first things first, you've got your place card with your instructions on. Um, you can follow that if optional, or you can t turn this video off and just use that. Who are those two hands? Yeah. Very nice, huh? Very nice. Uh, as you can see, we're going to open up. We've got our beautiful pork carnitas. Pork carnitas. They are confit in their own fat, and it's delicious. It may look a little bit weird and grey, but trust me, it tastes so good. Beautiful. Followed by, we've got our tortillas. Mm. Fresh corn tortillas. Mm. Beautiful. We've got our amazing homemade tomatillo salsa this is looking good so far we've then got our monterey jack cheese yes starting to get interesting now um, we've then got our beautiful pickled pink onions as well for garnishing and last but not least we've also got our incredible coriander awesome. as well so that's everything out of the box we can now move that to one side and we can crack on with the first step of our cooking operation First. Right, so we're going to start off with our pork carnitas. It's all in there. We're going to get our saucepan. We're going to place it here and we're going to open our bag. Boom. Put that to the side, don't need that. Now open our bag. Lovely. And it's all in there. And then we're just going to tip it into our saucepan. Just tip it in. Tip it in. Get it straight in there. Get it in there! Right, beautiful stuff. Now it's in. You can then place the orange banana bin. You may place that away. You can discard the bag. Discard that bag. You do not need it. The bag is recyclable, so feel free to wash it out and put it into your recycling. Yes, definitely do that. Right, onto a nice medium-low heat. We're going to place our carnitas on there. And what's going to happen is the, mass, the fat is going to slowly melt away and the pork is going to come up in temperature. It's going to be nice and hot. And you can leave it, maybe it might even get a little bit crispy around the sides and that's exactly what we want, is these nice little tender bits of pork with the nice fatty bits. Nice one. Crispy and tender, perfect, and ready to Yeah, go. you really want to render that fat out, give it nice and loose. It nice should and liquidy. take around five to 10 minutes. Right, what we're going to do is, as that's melting away, we're going to turn on our frying pan. Beautiful. On a nice low medium. Get a spoon, preferably a wooden one. And just start moving it around. Start moving it around in there. Yeah, make sure it doesn't get too stuck. It's okay. Chisel it off. It's fine. Put it on low if it starts to stick. Keep moving it around. Beautiful. Get above! Nice and warm. Great, so now that your carnitas is warming through, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on our cheese and tortillas. Um, by doing that, we're going to remove our tortillas out of the packaging. So you can slice that open, like so. Rip it open, grab your tortillas out. Perfect, and these are gonna go basically with our cheese. So guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our tortillas and our cheese. So, um, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be getting our cheese. A nice. little bit less, just a, a nice small pinch. Yeah, just a nice small pinch of cheese, um, and then we're going to put that directly in the centre of our pan. Nice. Give that a nice little spread, and then our tortilla is going to go directly on top of the cheese. Just blank it over, like so. Nice and snug. We're then going to leave that there for about 15 seconds, depending on how nice and hot your pan is. If your pan is nice and hot, it could be around 10 to 15. What we are looking for is a nice, beautiful browning of our cheese, nice and melted, nice and warm. Uh, and we're gonna flip that over uh, so it's ready for our meat. And here we go. And here it is, beautiful. Now we can start adding our carnitas. You can add as much carnitas as you want. Um, I quite like mine quite full, so a couple of tablespoons on there and we're ready to rock and roll. Beautiful. That's looking good. A pinch of salt as well, optional if you've got that in the kitchen. Whack a bit of salt, salt on there, a bit of seasoning on there. Um, but it already is seasoned, but if you like it a bit more. And just make sure you just leave, leave it in the pan just to cook the other side of the tortilla ever so much. Probably another 10 seconds just to make sure the tortilla is nice and warm through. 
Perfect. We're going to take it off and we're going to whack that on our board. And this is going to be ready for our garnish station, which will be the next step. Step three on to our operation. We're going to be garnishing these things, and Charlie's going to run us through how we're going to build them. So, first things first, you may build them however you like, but recommended, what we're going to do is ladle over some of our salsa. Just Beautiful. over it as much or as little as you like. You know, each pot should be enough for about all three tacos. So, for two pots, be enough for six. Cool, perfect. Once that's all on there to your liking, some delicious pickled onions. And we're just gonna gently, and I love this because it, it adds that sort of, I don't know, that sort of tang texture. Or nice tang, acidity. Nice acidity flavor, so it kind of cuts through the meat, the fat, uh, along with the tomato, and it also looks really beautiful as well. Yes. Um, yeah, I think they're, they're all full time. And Once that's done, cool. pinch of coriander. Perfect. God, those look so good. Love it or you hate it, it doesn't taste like soap. Coriander, always. And of course, if you've got anything in your kitchen that you want to use, like, I don't know, chives or anything that you're feeling that you think could work, go for it. it yeah. It's yours. You there's know. no rules. Um, it's here. There's no rules. Every, every tortilla, in my opinion, is a blank canvas, and um, that is just the way you want to do it. Um, yeah. Brilliant. So, I think it's time to eat these things. Let's crack on. Yeah. So there you have it then guys, this is our pork carnita taco recipe, thank you so much for buying a taco meal kit, it really does mean the world to us. Please, please, please tag us in your photos, we would love to see what you guys get up to at home in the kitchen. Thanks again guys, please stay safe and keep as positive as you can, hope to see you soon. See you soon guys, take care. <laughs>